Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my video showing these splatter burst targets. These are targets that allow you to see where you hit from a lot farther away. Also, in this video, I'm going to be showing my Crossman 2240, which is a pellet gun. Now, for this video, as you can see, we are in a non populated area. I want to give a shout out to all my UK subscribers. Uh, I've heard air guns are very popular there because of the restrictions on firearms. All right, there is my Crossman 2240. It's sold as a pistol, but I have the rifle stock on, which costs about 30 or $40 for that accessory. But the pistol itself is only $68 and worth every penny, let me tell you. I have not reviewed this yet, but it's a 22 caliber pellet rifle, and there is that's how far away we are. You can estimate how far that looks. I was standing fairly close because I was also shooting some BB guns. Now I'm going to be shooting gamo hunting pellets because I found they're very accurate. What we're going to do is speed up the footage quite a bit because this is a single shot, you know, bolt action, so I don't want you to have to wait. All right, so here we go. Now watch the grouping here. And now because this is sped up, it doesn't do the sound, but that's okay. Just watch the grouping here. I love the Crossman 2240, I have to say. You know, I used to shoot pellet guns and BB guns when I was 16, but there was a good 30-year period where I never shot an air gun. I did shoot real guns, but I never shot an air gun for a long time. And I just got back into them like two months ago. And this Crossman has been awesome. I'm going to try to shoot those little bullseyes around the uh, edge too. Right? Not bad, not bad. All right. Okay, so, and I got to thank that sight as well. Because like I said, I just got back into air guns. Look at the grouping. You're shooting through the same hole. I got to say, I got to hand it to Crossman. I, I like... This classic uh, 2240. Yeah, I got the edge of that bullseye. Come on, come on. That's not not bad. All right, but yeah, these splatterburst targets are pretty awesome. Uh, here is my Boker Smatch It folder that I have reviewed. Their mini folding Smatch It. I always carry at least one cutting tool with me, even if I don't plan to do any bushcraft. Okay, one thing about these targets, you can repair them. You see how they have extra bullseyes there? and extra little dots to repair a used target, right? So you just, you put it there. Okay, so I bought a 25 pack of these targets, but you're gonna get a lot of shooting, like, because you can keep repairing them with those little stickers. Now they also have different styles of target, like I just got these and I uh, haven't tried them yet, but can't wait to get out there and have some fun with those. This is a Bulldog, it's a shotgun case, but I found that there's the stats on it comes in different lengths, but I found that this one is almost perfect for my pellet gun, and I'm going to get a suppressor for that, and then it'll fit, like, even better. It has two pockets on the outside where I keep the uh, pellets and the CO2 as well, right? But all the other cases I looked at were either, like, way too long or, or too small, so I definitely recommend that, and you saw, and it works for shotguns, so I'll include a link to that. That's a great case recommended all right the the pellets that i use oh that's an olympus lens case it just happens to fit the the uh, tins of pellets perfectly but i use these uh gamo pointed hunting pellets now i haven't hunted anything yet but these are well they have good penetration i'll include a link to those yeah penetration that'll take out a rat we don't have rats where i live but if we did i, I would take out those little suckers with that, so yeah, that's what I use. They work great in the Crossman. All right, more useful stuff. The TacFun Red Dot Sight. Very useful for uh, beginners with air guns. Now, to mount it, you need those, uh, those Crossman adapters there. Or if you have the steel breech for the gun, that, that has a dovetail on it. But if not, you're going to need those adapters. They were like $7. You turn it on with that, right? It is a red or green dot site and th there you can see the different reticles you can choose which reticle you use i use the, th the third one there but yeah i'll include a link to that i gotta say uh like i said i only got back into air guns 
uh, two months ago after 30 years of not shooting them, that, that site really helped me. So if you're a bad shot or a beginner, I definitely recommend that. I don't know. If you're a pro, there's probably a more expensive site. But I'll include a link to that. Definitely highly recommend it. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. So in conclusion, this Crossman is awesome. Air guns are fun. The splatter burst targets are useful and fun. Air guns are great for eliminating uh, pests and introducing young people to the shooting sports, right? So if you're a prepper, consider adding some quality air guns to your supplies. And also, uh, like I said, very popular in UK. The UK viewers are thirsty for air guns and probably in a lot of other countries as well that have some restrictions on firearms including parts of occupied America. So I'm going to continue to show air guns, as well as knives, multi-tools, flashlights, uh, health and prepping videos. Try to use the links below the video. They support the channel. This has been We All Juggle Knives and Air Guns.